Hey everyone, my name is Dave House, and I'm with Budget Bat, and uh, I'm a master carpenter, and uh, I work for Budget Bat, and we've got a really complicated bathroom project we're doing in uh, Southeast Washington, D.C. on Massachusetts Avenue. This is a very, very old property, a very, very old neighborhood, probably just before or just after the turn of the century. We've got some really old framing, and I want to show you some interesting things that have kind of surprised me. Not to the point where I can't take care of it, but I wasn't expecting it. But you see right here, we've got a mountain of decay. I mean, these joists are gone. Um, I mean, I can stick my finger right through. There's nothing really left of these. So uh, it surprised me in the fact because everything else in the house, the joists and all, were in such good, good shape. Um, what I'm doing right now is, uh, let me finish cutting this pipe for a second and then I'll continue and show you what my plan is. Okay, now what I just did is, uh, this is where the toilet was and uh, we're uh, scheduled to put one of our custom built recessed storage cabinets or linen cabinets over this toilet. And you see we've got a stack here and I've been, I've been on the job uh, I've been on this job so far, uh, what's today? Today's uh, Wednesday, so this is our third day. And um, I, I've really uncovered a lot of things that I'm going to have to figure out a way to correct, but uh, not only is the floor really at a level, but um, that stack, cast iron, has been leaking. I think, uh, I think what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to end up replacing this, but um, I also need to create the space for the recessed um, linen cabinet and I think it'll, it's going to be easier if I leave this here and just move the toilet over a little bit. I've, I've got the room based on the dimensions and the design so I think I'm just going to, it's easier to move the toilet over a few inches rather than move this whole thing over. Uh, it'll, it'll simplify everything especially since we're also doing the upstairs renovation. Um, whoever did this renovation in the past, um, I, I don't know when it was done but you know there's um, it's not the best of repairs, so I'm going to create a system that uh, I kind of developed out of necessity probably 10, 15 years ago uh, up in Baltimore doing old row houses where the floors are really out. I'm going to create a, a, a grid system like this using 2x6s where um, I'm going to lay the 2x6s across the joist. I'm going to notch in, shim them up, and, uh, and I'm going to actually level the floor that way. So I'm, it's pretty complicated, but not, not too bad. Nothing that, that I can't handle, but I'm also going to have to repair these joists in some way. So I'm going to move the toilet over to here, and I think that's going to make the big difference. One of the things I'm not happy about, and I don't even know if I can correct, is this wall right here is basically sitting on nothing. Neither is that floor over there. And I don't even think my customer knows that yet. Whoever did the renovation, or maybe it was rotted out, I don't know, the, the, uh, the old style of construction is they would lay the tongue and groove floor and then build the walls on top of that, which is pretty interesting. Thank goodness we don't do it that way anymore, but um, it, it's all been rotted away over the years and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's nothing really to support there, so I'm going to have to develop something. So Anyway, um, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch uh, my video and you'll see this project as we progress. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.